Hey everyone, it's Carlo. Noise reduction. In this video, I'm going to show you how to keep things quiet using the strip silence feature here in Studio One. Let's take a listen. Reducing noise comes in a huge variety of forms in audio production today. We're going to look at strip silence feature here in Studio One to remove the noise between our audio to keep it as quiet as possible. And here in Studio One, we've got a feature called strip silence. Now I've got my lead vocal up here. And rather than process the whole track, why don't I separate out one of these passages right there to there, like that, and we'll select it. Now with this selected, only this area will be affected, okay? This will be our test area. In fact, why don't we double click on that and we'll bring it into our dedicated wave editor. Now to access the strip silent toolbar, it is right here at the top. And you'll see that these parameters open up now. Okay, let's make this a little bit taller for us. Cool. All right, now, starting from left to right, we have these options here. Lots of silence will be the most aggressive. Little silence might be your most average one. Noise floor will be for when there isn't any silence in between passages and you have to be super surgical. And manual is exactly what it means. You'll get access to the threshold functions here. So let's start with lots of silence, for example. But my first tip will be this here, under events here, minimum length, this is the smallest amount, the smallest size that the audio will be parceled out. Now this is really small. So if I was to just hit apply right now, you'll see how, how, how chopped up this has become. Let's take a listen to this. Familiar face, familiar. That's a little bit too much, right? So where I like to start here is in the minimum length. I always change this to half a second. Now look at the difference, see? Take a listen though. Familiar faces, familiar song. A little bit better. So that's a good starting point. So I first thing I do is always change the minimum length. 0 0.05 is way too small. So a half a second, I can live with that. But you can make that any value you want. Now here under pre and post roll, this is gonna be how much room you're gonna give yourself before the strip silence activates and when it ends. Now, 0 0.10 is kind of short. You can also link these so they'll have equal values for the fade in and the post rollout and the fade out. I often do that. I like it, it seems to work, but you don't have to. So, you know, you know, definitely experiment. But I'm gonna link this for now. And under this one here, let me make this, let's see the post. I want, I want some room in there. I'm gonna go 0 0.25 seconds and the same. 0.25, it's a quarter of a second. And let's see what this looks like. All right, so it's really shaping up. As you can see, it's it's really removing the gaps in between the audio to make it as silent as possible in between those sections. Familiar faces, familiar song. Choices of And again, you could come in here and still edit them out manually. Familiar faces, familiar songs. There, now we captured, we reintroduced that S there. So if you wanted to do that, we could also come to, again, this is, let's do a little silence, see what that looks like. Okay, there you go, it worked. It actually captured that S here in the end of that last passage, but it didn't divide it as much. So you can see the option little silence is probably the one you're going to use most. Familiar faces, familiar songs. So again, here under lots of sounds, the more aggressive one, it looked like this. And under a little silence, it looked like this. Now with noise floor, this isn't the best material to try to use it, but check it out. Okay, that works too. Now under manual, you see that we now have access to our open and close thresholds. You can link these so that when it opens, and when they close, will be set to one value. What this basically means at what volume? Some of these, this is a very dynamic passage. It hasn't been compressed or anything at all. So there's some really quiet parts and some really loud parts here. So when you want this to open up, at what volume do you want it to start working? That's where manual is going to come in. So there you have it. Here's some fundamentals on how to get started using the strip silence function here in Studio One. But as I always say, the best way to find out is for yourself. So check it out today. And thanks for watching. Hey everyone, and thank you for watching. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Leave your comments below. Like, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to download that cheat sheet in the description below.